packed them in for this one. Had a fan even sitting in the scoreboard. But the Jays leaving far too many men on base during this road trip. This is third inning, two on, two out. No Carter. Grounds to short to end the threat. No score in the game. A close call for Jimmy Keene, the fifth. Harry Steinbach drove one off of his right forearm. Gruber got the out at first. And fortunately for Key, after they checked out his arm, he was able to stay in the game. So top of the seventh, one of the key at-bats of the game, Mookie Wilson. He's at second with two out, but Mike Moore catches Devon White looking for strike three, and yet another runner is stranded. Game was scoreless through seven, but in the eighth, the A's finally got the key. This is two on, two out. Willie Wilson lines went up the alley and left center for extra bases. Mike Gallego, Ricky Henderson, they both come in to count. And that made it two to nothing for Oakland. Now Dwayne Gordon on relief. Harold Baines bounces a single through to the left side. Wilson will come in to score. That made it 3-0 Oakland. They added another run, went on to blank the Blue Jays 4-0. And you know what? Toronto has stranded 31 runners in their last three games. Not a good sign. Well, trying to avoid the sweep in Oakland facing Ron Darwin. John Oler with the man in scoring position. No dice. Ron Guzman on the hill for the Jays. He too is on his game. Harold Baines caught on strikes. But in the bottom of the third, Guzman had back-to-back -back walks. Runners advanced second and third on the sack. And then this pass ball by Pat Borders allowed Mark McGuire to score from third, one nothing Oakland. Top of the fifth, the Jays get on the scoreboard. Pat Borders makes amends for his pass ball by belting this two-run shot to left. His fourth homer of the season puts the Blue Jays up two to one. On to the bottom of the seventh inning now. Three to one for the Blue Jays. McGuire hits the chopper down to third. Gruber's throw is in the dirt. Olerud can't take it out. Olerud, Almar comes to throw it in, but Steinbach scores. Borders can't handle it. Tennis is upset, but there's nothing to do about it. The game's tied. Tennis would have something to smile about a little later on because Juan Guzman, eight strikeouts, two hits over eight innings. David Wells comes in for the save, and the Blue Jays defeat the Oakland A's three to two. David Wells gets his first save of the season. Pat Porter's his fourth home of the season. Porter's had a great weekend. He had five RBI in Oakland. Season and he was up against Tom Candiotti for the Blue Jays, who got rocked in the first inning. Bases loaded, two out. Max Venable pulls one to right field. Stevens, Winfield, Gary Gaetti all come in to score on the three-run triple. Three-nothing Halos. Still in the first, Ron Tingley drives one deep to center field. Pass to Vaughn White. Five nothing is the score. Game is far from over. Top of the second, Candy Maldonado gets the Jays on the board by building the two-run home run to left field. Toronto trails seven to two. There goes Maldonado came up again in the third, and this time he pulls one inside the bag at third. Roberto Alomar comes in to score. Joe Carter scores. Toronto's within three, down 7-4. Angels at 9-4 after three. But Kelly Gruber belts a two-run home run over the wall in left field. His 20th home run of the season. Jays within one, down 9-8. Nine, Ninth inning. Jays down 10-9. Dave Parker hits one to left center field. Tries to stretch it out into a double, but he is called out at second base. Close call. Bad call. Jays lose it. 10-9 was the final score in Anaheim. Maldonado and Gruber with the home run. The save going to Brian Harvey is 43rd. We'll also tell you Tom Henke is out until at least Friday. He received a cortisone shot on Monday for the tendonitis in his pitching shoulder. Facing Jim Abbott in the Angels. Abbott 10-2 in his last 12 starts. Strange, day, strange play in the second. Pat Ford is just to the grounder to first. Ball goes off Lee Stevens' glove. Gary DeSarcina comes back to back it up and Borders retired 3-4-1, top of the third. Roberto Alomar hits a ground ball to right. DeSarcina again comes into the hole to make the play on to first to retire Alomar. Abbott just giving up one hit through five. Here he gets Pat Borders swinging, game range scoreless. Todd Stolomeyer pitching just as effectively. He's got his three hits through six innings. Here he gets Lance Parrish looking. A nice bat battle of the pitchers right now. Top of the eighth, Abbott is just on fire. He strikes out Pat Tabler. Then he gets Pat Borders. And then he gets... Manny Lee looking for his 10th strikeout of the game. That's a career high. He strikes out five in a row as well. Bottom of the inning, Luis Polonia on first. Team tennis goes to the bullpen for David Wells. He picks off Polonia at first, ending any possible angel threat. Top of the night, Joe Carter on second base in scoring position. Kelly Gruber at the plate. Hit the slow grounder to second, ending the inning and the scoring opportunity. Extra innings we go. Still no score in the game. Pat Porters spoils Abbott's brilliant work. He takes Abbott down the left field line, just inside the foul ball. 
A three-run shot, and the Jays upset Abbott by defeating him by a score of three to nothing. He's had any strong work there by Jim Abbott. He still takes the loss, though. It still goes down as an L. General Manager Pat Gillick inking his team's top draft pick, outfielder Sean Green. That's him in the bottom right of your screen. Top of the first, Toronto opens the scoring. Joe Carter with a bloop single to right. That'll score Devon White. And it's 1-0 Toronto in front. White scores easily. Bottom of the second game, tied at 1. Joe Carter, watch him as he goes back on this fly ball from Gary Gaetti. He lands in his glove, then drops out of his glove, right in the palm. That often happens when you hit the palm of the glove. 2-1 Angels in front. Top of the fifth now. Great inning for the Jays. Robbie Alomar with two men on. Doubles down the left field line. Mookie Wilson, Devon White will both come in to score. White just beating the throw. 3-2 Jays in front. Next batter is Joe Carter, and he makes up for his error from earlier in the game. Another single. Alomar scores. That's Carter's 106th RBI of the year. 4-2 Toronto. Then the big blow. Two men on for big John Olerud. And he sits on this 2-0 fastball. Drills a three-run shot to right field. 7-2 Blue Jays after five complete Jays hold on to win this game. 7-2 the final. Olerud with his 17th home run of the season. The candy man was in another jam early in this one with one out he fans. Chuck Knobloch and then Pat Borders throws out Gene Larkin trying to steal second base. Good job. Candiotti cruises through the first four innings, but in the fifth, he gets spiked in the foot by Brian Harper at first base. Candiotti goes down. Assistant trainer Brent Andrews tapes his ankle. But Candiotti said he wanted to stay in the game, and that was what he did. And after allowing a single to Shane Mack, he hangs a curve to Craig Gagney. Gag Gagney with a shot to left field brings home Chili Davis. And Shane Mack and the Twins are out in front two to nothing. Two batters later, Candiotti cannot continue, and he was forced to leave the ball game. Mike Timlin comes on, and Chuck Knobloch welcomes him with a single to right field. Gagne will come in to score. George, Joe Carter's throw to the plate, not in time to get Larkin, and it's four nothing Twins after five. The Blue Jays just couldn't get anything going against Jack Morris. Robbie Alomar hits a rope to Larkin in right, but Devon White was on the move and gets doubled off first base. The veteran Morris goes the distance, scattering six hits to win his 18th game. He throws out Pat Borders to end the ball game. The Twins' magic number for clinching the American League West drops to one with the victory. Five to nothing was the final score. First inning, Scott Erickson gave up a leadoff double to Devon White. Robbie Alomar then lays down the sacrifice bunt. Erickson goes for the out at third. White is safe. The Jays take advantage. With the bases loaded, Kelly Gruber lifts one deep to left field. Dan Gladden makes the catch, but White will watch him make the catch. Tag up, score from third base, and it's 1-0 Toronto in front. The next batter is the Candy Man. Candy Maldonado rips a two-out single to left center field. Alomar comes around to score the play with that. The Jays up 2-0 after one. Todd Stottlemyre cruising until the seventh inning when, with a man on, Mike Pagliarulo crushes one to center field. Devon White goes back. And he is known for making these beautiful catches at the wall. Beautiful jumping catch by Devon White in straightaway center field. Mike Timlin then came on to face pinch hitter Paul Sorrento. Sorrento bounces a single up the middle. Gene Larkin scores with that. The Twins trail 2-1. to one. The key at bat of the ball game came in the seventh. With two out, Randy Bush chops one. Pat Borders can't get the out at first, but he sees a pinch runner. Jarvis Brown is hung up rounding third base. Fires to Gruber for the out. A huge play for Toronto. Stopper Tom Hankey still on the shelf for the Jays. So David Wells comes on to toss a perfect eighth inning. Dwayne Ward came in and set the Twins down in order. In the ninth inning, Mike Pellinulo flies out to center field to end this ballgame. The Jays' magic number down to four after a 2-1 win over Minnesota. Dwayne Ward picking up the save, his 20th of the season. Stottlemyre, the winner. Scott Erickson took the loss. Mark Langston of the California Angels. He was tough in the Jays early on, though. Last of the second, Kelly Gruber watches the curve go by, and John Olerud swinging through a third strike, sort of. Jimmy Key has his problems in the fourth. Lance Parrish will crunch this one. It goes back, but Joe Carter, great catch, and then gets the ball in. Dave Winfield slides in. He is safe at third. However, he was early leaving second. And on the appeal and the throw back to second, they get Winfield. Key struggling in the fifth as well. Sean Abner with a single. Chris Crone is waved in, but he stumbles in the turn. Has to scramble back to third. And even Buck Rogers can sympathize a little with the rookie, having trouble with his footing. Last of the sixth, Joe Carter. And Dick Schofield will throw it away. Manny Lee comes in to score on the error. One to nothing for the Blue Jays. Then in the top of the eighth inning, Mike Timlin on to relieve Key. Two on and 
two out, and Dave Winfield does that. Luis Polonia and Schofield come in. It's two to one for the Angels. Then in the home half of the eighth inning, Brian Harvey comes in, and Harvey gets the job done. He picks up his 45th save of the year, and California downing Toronto by a score of two to one. 45 saves for Harvey. Jimmy Key takes the loss for three, compiling a 7.59 ERA. Jays get to him in the fourth inning with two out. Kelly Gruber fights off a pitch into left field. Joe Carter scores 1-0 Toronto. Lots of action in the bottom of the fifth. Manny Lee lays down the sacrifice. Fetters throws high to first. Lee collides with Gary Disarcina. They both go down. Disarcina is shaken up, but stays in the game. As for Manny Lee, he's feeling a bit wobbly himself. After Devon White flew out, Roberto Alomar grounds to short. Dick Schofield throws home to get Pat Borders. Watch Borders. Yeah, catcher knows how to handle a catcher at home plate. Tingley is forced to leave the game. Next batter, Joe Carter. Carter comes through with a two-out single to left center field. Manny Lee comes in to score. Jays up 2-0. Then John Olerud pulls a single to right. Alomar tries to score from second, and he will slide in ahead of the throw. And it's 3-0 Toronto. Juan Guzman looking for a club record 10th straight win as the starter strikes out Lee Stevens in the 7th. Up go the K cards. He racked up six on the night. Ninth inning now. Jays up 5-2. Pinch hitter Ruben Amaro Jr. represents the tying run, but Dwayne Ward gets him to ground into the 1-6-3. Twin killing. Jays win 5-2. Their magic number temporarily falling to two pending the outcome of the Boston game. The, the uh, save going to Dwayne Ward, his 21st. The only home run going to California's Dave Winfield of the franchise. Over 4 million fans into the Sky Dome this season in all to watch the team. Top of the first inning of this clinching game against the California Angels. Roberto Alomar throws to the plate. Pat Borders stands tall. Max Venable is out. Joe Gray, 1-0 lead in the third. Perfect sitting down first nine Jays that he faces. Then in the fourth, Angels get three consecutive hits. Gary Gaetti lines this. And it's out of play for a ground rule double. Dave Winfield and Lee Stevens come in. It's 3-0 California. Gray has a no-hitter in the fifth inning and then hit the self-destruct button. He walks Dave Parker. Pat Borders gets a free pass. And then Manny Lee draws the walk. Bases are loaded. Devon White will step in. Line at Gaetti. Can't make the catch. Gaetti couldn't the... handle it. Parker comes in. It's 3-1 to one Angels in the fifth. Things get worse for Gray. Alomar draws the fourth walk of the inning. It's 3-2 Angels. Last of the sixth. Scott Bales comes into pitch. Candy Maldonado will greet him. 2-0 pitch. Way back indeed, a two-run shot, it's 4-3 Toronto. And look at this hustle by Joe Carter. Into the stands and he pulls it in. Top of the eighth inning now, David Wells rocked by Dave Winfield. That is Winfield's 1,600th career RBI. More importantly, in tonight's scenario, it ties the game. Dave Gallagher, top of the ninth, base hit. Maldonado comes up gunning. Sean Abner coming in. Coming home. Didn't get him. The Angels are up 5-4. Brian Harvey looking for the save. Number 46 it would have been in the ninth. Alomar grounds. Here's Kevin Flora. Throws it away. White comes in. The Jays tie it at five. Alomar steals third. The table is set for Joe Carter to feast. Base hit. Blue Jays win the East. Let the celebration begin. And celebrate they did, and celebrate they should. Toronto over top of California. The final score is 6-5. to five. The Blue Jays clinch first place in the American League East. They will, of course, go on to meet the Minnesota Twins in the American League Championship Series. Not that important. Jays get on the board at the top of the first. Candy Maldonado with a single. Joe Carter comes in to score. It's one nothing for Toronto. Even though the regulars were resting, some nice defense by the backups. Eddie Zosky right here with a nice grab. And then he gets the fourth at second. Double play. Todd Stottlemyre will be starting game four, as I just mentioned. And he's effective in this one. Gets Shane Max swinging there. In the top of the fifth, the Jays add another run. Turner Ward with a single. And Eddie Zosky will come in to count. 2-0 for the Jays. And the best news, the most significant news in this game, 
the fact that Tom Henke came in to pitch. He came in in the seventh, and he looked pretty good. And so did the Jays, for what it's worth, going on to beat Minnesota. The final score in this one is 4-1. to one. Matter of fact, that's the way it turned out. This is the only run they get off Guzman. He was only in for three or four innings. Kirby Puckett sending one to the wall. Chuck Knobloch will come around to score. And on the play, Puckett gets a little greedy, and he is gunned out at third. But it was uh, one to nothing for the Twins, a lead they would not relinquish. In the sixth, Chili Davis with a solo shot to center off David Weathers. And the Minnesotas take the lead at two to nothing. And then, watch what happens here. Shane Mack will hit it to center, and he's a little undecided whether to go for the single or go for two. He says, hey, why not two? The throw to second, and he's safe, but uh, Zosky gets it right in the puss there. But uh, he was okay, really. And the only Toronto run came later, a home run by Alomar. This afternoon, the final game of the regular season, Devon Wright leads off the game with a drive to straightaway center field. Kirby Puckett goes back. Runs out of room, though. The ball just makes it over the uh, upfield fence. White's 17th home run. White came up again in the third. Tom Edens sails a pitch over his head. Edens, not Seedens. White, furious with Edens, does not charge the mound, however. Instead, he strikes back with his arm. Watch here. Shane Mack will hit this one off the baggies in right center field. Joe Carter falls. White is there to back him up. White, with the great arm, will throw out the runner at third base, trying to steal third. Now, bottom of the seventh, score tied at one, Rob Ducey loses a fly ball in the lights. That would cost the Jays a run. They trail 2-1 after seven. With the score tied at two in the top of the 10th, Ducey redeems himself by belting this solo shot of Allen Anderson. He's first of the year. The Jays end the season on a winning note. A 3-2 win over the Twins at the Metrodome. White, Ducey with home runs for Toronto. Pagliarulo for Minnesota. Dwayne Ward picking up his 23rd save.